Oh. Hey, yo. Yo. You see that, right? You see that, right? Resistance fall of man. We're not going to act like we don't know this game. We're not going to act like that. We don't put respect on this game. You know, when the PS3 came out, there's only a couple of games I can think of. And forgive me, there's a bunch, man, but a couple. Games like Mag and uh, Motor Motorfest, I think, or Motor Motorsport or Motorfest, I think it was, or something like that. And then, of course, Resistance Fall of Men. This was one of the first exclusives for the PlayStation that came out for the PS3. And I remember I couldn't afford one. I couldn't afford the PS3, man. And I remember my ex-girlfriend at the time, her dad got one. He brought, I was chilling with her at the house. Um, I was 14 years old and he brought a big ass box and told me, I'm gonna drive you home, man. I know we, I, you kids got school tomorrow, but I'm gonna drive you home. And he was like a big ass kid himself. And he goes, I want you to try this out with me, man. And it was the PlayStation 3. And I said, what the hell is this? And all of a sudden he, Boost this bitch up and here we go. Resistance Fall of Man by Insomniac, who I believe make, I mean, well, obviously make Spider Man. And I'm like, what the fuck? And I think it was like 40v40 or 20v20, something like that. And it changed my whole, like, the whole scope of fucking online gaming for me. Although the PS2 has some online, this set it off for me for the shooters. And of course, COD 4 came shortly after for me. But I remember my mom having that talk with me, like, what do you want for Christmas? And it was like the middle of the, I don't know when the PS3 came out, but I was like saying that my stepfather heard, you know, God bless him. I'm gonna always love that man, dog. I have mad love and respect for him. And what you will call all of a sudden one day he comes home from Target with a big ass box and goes, here you go. And it wasn't even Christmas. I don't even mean to like, like just ramble, but we, he gave me this game and, it, and he gave me resistance. And I was just like lost for words. I made my first gamer tag and it was over, man. And I wish the multiplayer right now worked for me, but right now it don't. But we have to play this. Um, I hit continued game by accident. I did new game. Ain't a thing I thought like crash, but no, we should be good. So we continue. But man, we're not gonna disrespect this game. I understand Kill Zone and all these other games. I get it. I get it. This was, was the part that scared the fuck out of me, by the way. But um, I get it. I truly get it. I get it. The but resistance is Russia. it. The origin of the virus is unknown, but its effects were devastating and swift. In the 1930s, reports of biological experiments began leaking out of Russia. Then reports of villages destroyed overnight. Then entire cities. We feared the Russians had developed I need to somehow get the multiplayer running. Power. The truth was far worse. The Chimera stayed sealed within Russia for over a decade. Then, in 1949, they launched an attack that overwhelmed all of Europe in a matter of weeks. Mm. For several months, we thought England was safe. But in October of 1950, the Camaro burrowed under the channel. We had prepared for them. But in three months' time, the war was lost. Mm. We abandoned the cities to the Camaro and retreated to scattered military bases and outposts. The Camaro had won. This game could have been something even more special. On July the 11th, 1951, the Americans launched an assault on the eastern coast of England. On the second wave of that assault was a sergeant named Nathan Hale. The actions of that soldier have become a matter of both scrutiny and myth. What follows are the known events of his life from July 11th to July the 14th, the day he was last seen. I remember when, when I seen showcasing the, uh, the showcase of this game, I said, man, this is fucking next level shit. Like this is next level shit right here, man. And I was sitting next to my, my ex-girlfriend's pops and he was like, cause he had like a light voice, big muscles, light voice. Just like, oh man, Rick, man, we gotta play this in. I just remember this shit, bro. Only the highest levels of their government knew the truth. The operation was an exchange the Americans were bringing supplies and tanks into York. 
We were giving them and you know, I've never really been the biggest fan of always playing an old school shooter, but the elements of like adding aliens and uh, like zombies, like Nazi zombies had that formation with Black Ops in World at War, and I loved it. And this game kind of had that, man. This was like the PlayStation version of like a Halo. I know it's crazy, but it was me. Exactly what happened there. All we know is that Nathan Hale was the sole survivor. No, no, no. Oh, I know his hands are burning. His hands can now light fires. Oh my God. So for anybody who's new to the channel, or if you're one of the younger guys, I, I love the fact that y'all been enjoying the content, man. Let me, let me put y'all on. Um, as much as y'all been putting me on this shit, let me put y'all on, man. This was one of the early shooters. Now, I don't know how it plays today. I haven't played it. It was fluid. It was amazing. Um, different guns because there was a different, a whole different, like, entity that you went up against. And the chimeras, it was just, man. Man. Okay. Oh, my God. Look how damn close that was. Oh my goodness. All right. All right, so R1 is to shoot. Oh my God, I remember this. And that's who we went up against. Now, let me see. <laughs> Yo, this is so old. Crouch is, oh my God. Look at the crouch button. Look at the crouch button, my boy. See? Tilt, save, load. So I don't think there was aiming right now. O alternative fire, select, weapon select. Um, and I don't, and in voice chat, of course, I don't remember them not having aiming though. I thought aiming was here. Now it makes me think about all those years playing this game. Oh my God. Oh my God, that was the aiming. That was the aiming. Yo, when I, oh my God, shooters back then, Jesus Christ. Shooters back then was a different level. Now, you had to aim with the analog stick. We're gonna fix that problem right now. Like, we're gonna fix that. See, simple fixes, man. Simple fixes. Now L1 is, is to aim, man. All right, let me reload. I think we go over this way. Yeah, look at that. The chimeras. Holy shit. Oh my god, I just remember all of them. Alright, this is our men. These are our men. Alright, I need to know what's the running button. Right. What's the gun I'm using? Hold R1 for automatic fire. Tap R1 for single fire. Accurate shot. Okay. Oh shit. That's to throw grenades. All right. Holy crap. Oh, 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 oh. Holy crap. This was like everything to me, man. They've got enough on us. Turn it to All right, we got we to make sure. All right. Oh my God. There you go. There we go. Insomniac goes from this game to Spider-Man. And I forgot what other games they made. I think Spyro, I forgot the other one, man. Forgive me. I'm in, I'm in a moment right now that I don't wanna I don't wanna spoil for myself. For all my old heads out there. Y'all remember this, right? Ooh shit. Right, we gotta proceed, don't we? Oh shit, what happened to him? Oh, he did. Oh, what up, man? What the fuck? 
Hell nah. I wonder if that was actually part of the game that motherfuckers was dying crazy. Shit. Oh, oh shit. Ooh. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead, my man. <laughs> Let's go. I don't know what you think this is. Get out of here, my man. I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna need some health in a second. This is on the hardest difficulty. All right. All right, this is the bullseye. So the bullseye is the Chimerian. Um, Chimerian main battle rifle, okay. It says, ooh, shit. Okay. I remember this. Attack. Oh my God, I remember this game. Holy shit, y'all. Yo, how do I request for help? I mean, for health. Jesus Christ. Right, we gotta pick up some of this ammo. Nope. Now, Insomniac, I don't think they're ever gonna bring this back because, of course, the, the tremendous amount of, uh, of success that we see with, with Spider-Man. But this was one of the ones, man, when this came out. You gotta remember, this came out like in 2006, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. But I just know that when it did come out, Oh shit. Oh, 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 oh. Grenade, grenade. Grenade, grenade. Fuck! And I died, bro. I just know that when it came out, man, it was it was around that time. And I it, man. It was this was do I have to start? Oh no, I don't. Eh, whatever. This was like one of those games for the time that it came out that it was huge. Look at it like this, like even Killzone. What's funny is I never really enjoyed Killzone Shadowfall, but I might have to touch that game again too because for some reason, I don't think I've appreciated it enough. But at that time, it was already on Call of Duty, so that game just felt outdated as a bit. Okay. There we go. Now we can really... We can really set the tone right now. Start throwing these grenades. Oh, reload, reload, reload. Yo, where my team at? Where my where my men? What's crazy is I like there's no excuse for why the controls were so ass and a lot of people would think that it, it equates to skill but I will tell you if you were someone who played the original Halo and you played this game you were a beast because the controls were definitely ass and not only that too knowing that a triangle was the melee if you're shooting people you're able to hit that triangle button depending on the, your play style oh fuck You had to be like a beast. Now, I don't know where the hell the ammo is. I'm gonna be honest. Shit. I mean, not ammo, where the hell packs are. I'm getting sold over here. Like, a... oh, hey, what up, man? Come on, man, let's get a pop. That was a good run. That was a cool little run, man. Captain, you seeing this? What the hell is that? Oh hell no. He's the only one that's surviving.
I forgot this happened. I don't really remember the full story. No one knows exactly how Hale was infected by the Chimeran virus. Our only clue is a journal entry recovered from the body of a U.S. medic. It says that he encountered a number of comatose soldiers in a dry creek bed. One of the soldiers, a sergeant, suddenly woke up. Unlike the other soldiers, his body had no wounds at all. The sergeant refused any kind of medical examination, insisting on catching up to the rest of the company. If that sergeant was in fact Nathan Hale, then he remains the only known person to wake up after being infected. Whether the Chimeran virus mutated within him, or whether his body had an innate resistance to it, remains a mystery. Holy shit. It says a lone survivor, York, England. Ah. <sighs> so wait, I woke up from this. So what, the virus, I'm, I, I've consumed the virus? Look at my, oh, look at all my man's hand. They told me Arrow 2 was wiped out. Come on. Yeah, shit, I'm goofy. Shit. Are you ready? Oh, shit. Where we gotta go next? Not in there, I suppose. No, it's over here. Alrighty. I mean. Shit. Whoa, 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 whoa. You scared me. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh. Hey, hey. Where my men at? Supposed to be helping us. Jesus Christ. Now you, sir, you're supposed to be helping us. Well, he was. I felt like he could have threw some grenades and shit. Where do we grow from here? Oh, okay. It's so crazy playing this game now. And then, like, the time that I played this game, I thought this shit had some fucking 4K graphics. You know what I'm saying? Like, my eyes... You know, your eyes get conditioned to certain shit, you know what I'm saying? And, and for me, this was like, oh my God. You know, I'm not, I'm a person that, I'm not really a big fan of remakes, remasters. There's certain games that I'm like, like Def Jam, I, like I would love for them to just repolish that and just give it back to us, bro. With a little bit of that online. But I don't know if I would say, Resistance for its aging. However, I will tell you. Oh shit! Both my men died. That's tough. I will tell you though. For, uh, I think the later Resistance games, I think they progressively gotten better, especially with controls. And I think you know due to that, the uh player count online was less and less. March twenty third, nineteen fifty, Medical Journal, Doctor Ian Coxon. It says further research into the Chimerian uh, physiology. Suggest their rapid regeneration ability may be the result of more than their metabolic rate alone. Uh, we have known for some time that sufficient damage will kill a, chim a chimera, outrage, or leave it with lasting wounds that creature uh, that creatures cannot heal. Um, but recent research suggests that chimera have developed a symbolic bacteria which complements and amplifies their healing abilities. The bacteria are suspended in a vicious um, yellowish fluid. Ugh. Our researchers have dubbed the Simbac serum. That sounded nasty as fuck. We believe that bacteria is likely destroyed during the healing process, which means <clears throat> that Chimera would be dependent on further injections of the serum as they sustain more damage. Okay. L reading. Let me go ahead and... Uh... All right. So we already know we're going to encounter some shit. Boy, I hear that. Don't play with it. I hear it. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. Yeah, get y'all with y'all own shit. Get y'all with y'all own shit. Yes, sir. You got any health in this bitch? No? Yeah.
Come on. I just wanted to see if that even worked too. Yeah, it did. Holy Baker shit, who's that? The EI, the EI, the, excuse me, the AI wasn't that bad on this game either. Super responsive as fuck. I'll tell you that much. Right, we, gotta, we gotta go to the depot, you know what I'm saying? The depot hit different. Yeah, they would get up. I know they did. I know y'all got up. Don't play with me. Look at all our men. Dead. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Oh my God. Oh my God. I forgot about all this. Bro. Oh shit. Say goodbye, my Lord. Oh my God. Say goodbye, my lord. Ooh. Frank ran his ass over. We destroyed the whole section. I swear to God, y'all may not know this, but I understand how this game might look, but man, it's just too nostalgic for me to not just be happy, bro. This shit just brought genuine happiness. Thank God for life. Thank God to just even be able to play this again, bro. This is insane. Now I know how some of these old heads be feeling and, and they're playing their favorite old game. Oh, bitch. Who the fuck? Ooh, that must have hurt. Man. Straight up destroyed, demolished, conquer. Defeat the Chimera. I think now if they did one like a modern day one, would be fucking insane. But it needs to stay true to like its story elements. It needs to stay true. If they were to do a modern day one, if that was to ever happen. The Americans regrouped at an abandoned That was to ever be a thing. Under the command of a Captain Winters, they staged a daring tactical offensive. The Chimera had begun to close in on their position. If the Americans could secure the site, they would have a perfect landing zone and the battle would tip in their favor. That was beautiful. This was a fun play. Um, For me, this would probably be like a one-off. I want to try the multiplayer soon or if it works, even if it's against the cpu or whatever just to get that you know just to remember like how much fun i had if it can still bring that to me but um please man let me know let me know if you've ever played this hopefully you enjoyed the commentary and the gameplay for all my old heads who remembers this game even if you came in at the second game that came out or the third game because i don't remember playing the third one but i actually i remember playing all three but I remember how much fluid and how better mechanically the game got fluid over the years. But of course, my favorite is going to be the first one. I mean, if you jumped onto the game at the second one, the second one might be the, your favorite one. But please let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Um, I got a lot of heat, a lot of bangers for y'all, man. I, I, I said a lot of bangers. Huh. But nah, let me know what you guys think, man. It's your boy 3G. God bless y'all. We hit 43K and I'm happy, man. Thank y'all. I'm out of here. Peace. Bruh. They definitely, damn, man. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to like.
I'm gonna have to see how I can spawn in the CPU somehow, man. This was basically it, man. You ran around and it just like up to 40 players, man. Either regular deathmatch or TDM. And you just picked up guns and I just remember. Oh my god, the way you just fucked people up in this game was insane, man. Well,